Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Monzo abroad. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to head over, launch your Monzo account, which of course I have done right here. Now, it's pretty much easy for you to create a Monzo account. How do you do that? First off, launch in a browser of your choice in the search bar of your browser. Type monzo.com is going to take you to this fantastic official website for Monzo. At the top right corner, you're going to find this option that says sign up. Click on that and follow through with the processes to create your account. Now, there is one thing you should know. Monzo is strictly for UK residents, as it says right here. So, if you're not residing in the UK, then you might have issues creating an account on Monzo. First things first, if you want to create an online banking account, then you should have your mobile banking account set up on your mobile phone because you need that to you know, get through with the online banking process. Because not all of us have the luxury of creating a Monzo account, I will not show you how it is using the features directly, but I have, we have sufficient knowledge you know, to help you through with the process. So if you relocated and you're, you know, having issues or concerns about using Monzo card, I'm going to help you clear that by the way. Here's how you can use your card abroad. Okay, so there are a few things that you should know and uh, that's going to actually put you at ease. So number one, all right, says um, you don't need to tell us if you're going away. So Monzo says it won't block your card if you're using it's a different country, all right? And all they're just gonna let you know is to tell the local exchange rate when you arrive and your spending summary of your trip when you get home. Okay, so that means you cannot relax, you can rest assured that you can now use your card anywhere and Monzo will not block your card. And then the next thing is, we don't charge any fees for paying by card when abroad. So Monzo does not charge any fees if you pay by card. So they don't also mark up the exchange rate. So you're always getting the best possible deal. And some card machines may ask you, may ask if you want to pay in pounds instead. So make sure that you pick the local currency for the best exchange rate. So this means, that when you get to any country of your choice, and sure, of course, you should know the currency to use. So when the ATM card says you should use pound instead, pounds instead, do let them know that you want to use the local currency so you can get a good exchange rate and the exchange rate will not be cranked up. And then the next thing is that you need to understand your overseas ATM cash withdrawal fees. So generally, there is this outstanding fee of... Um, not a standing, there's this um, automatic 3% fee that is withdrawn, all right, when you use your ATM. Of course, for withdrawing cash over your ATM limits. All right, so once you exceed your ATM limits for that particular day, there's this fee of 3% that is withdrawn from your balance. Okay, but then there are exceptions to this. All right, so if you meet the criteria for high allowances, then you can get unlimited free cash withdrawals in the UK and the European Economic Areas, that's the EEA, okay? And you can get fee free withdrawals on up to 200 euros everywhere else. That's if you're using the Monzo account and you've met the criteria for high allowances, you can get unlimited fee free cash withdrawals in the UK and European economic areas, and then FIFA withdrawals on up to two years everywhere else. There is another criterion. It says those who have Monzo Plus because as a Monzo user, you know that there is Monzo Plus and there is Monzo Premium. So if you're using the Monzo Plus, you can get unlimited fee free cash withdrawals in the UK and EEA, and then fee free withdrawals on up to 400 euros everywhere else. And then if you're a pro Monzo Premium user, you get unlimited FIFA cash withdrawals in the UK and EEA, and then FIFA withdrawals on up to $600 everywhere else. Okay, so the next thing is the 30 day period for allowances. All right, so after your first, uh, after using up your allowance, 
you have like a 30 day period to use your allowance and after that it takes um 30 days to reset so it says the 30 day period of allowances reset exactly 30 days after your first withdrawal so rather than at the start of the month so your allowances are shared across any accounts you have so if you have a joint account if you have a personal account your allowances are shared all right and it's just split across so if you take out 150 euros on the second of the month and let's say 50 euros on the fifth of that same month then your allowances would be set on the second and fifty and the second of fiftieth day of the next month. So if you made a third withdrawal or a fourth withdrawal within that process, then you're not going to enjoy the allowance on that. They're going to now charge for withdrawal fee. So that's pretty much. So just be aware that some ATMs will charge you a fee for taking out cash. So be sure that you're actually using a free ATM. All right. So once this some of these ATMs actually take fees, they don't send it money to Monzo. Monzo do not Monzo does not receive the money. All right, so just be sure they're using a free ATM. And then they're suggesting that you activate your Mac Stripe. All right, to use foreign ATMs. Okay, and then also once you're using a foreign ATM, ensure that you select credit as your account instead of savings because it's actually more re reliable says monzo okay so that's pretty much how you you can use your card so as far as atm is is accepting mastercard then you can use your monzo card all right but then it says it works in vast majority of cases but some customers do report occasional issues of course it could be some issues secondary issues or whatever so Monzo is advising that you have, or it's advisable that you have a spare card. You have an extra card and don't just allow Monzo to be the only card. But you can rest assured that Monzo is going to help you in a, like in majority of cases or most of the time, Monzo is definitely going to come true. But it's okay if you have a spare card. So this is pretty much the process. This is how you can use Monzo card abroad. You can go over to the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search.